We're learning more about information tonight about a wrongful death lawsuit that has been filed in the wake of the tragic death of a Corpus Christi police officer, Officer Alan McCollum. Brandon Portillo, the man accused of causing the drunk driving crash that killed McCollum, is not the only person listed in that lawsuit. That's right. The lawsuit filed on behalf of McCollum's widow lists Brandon Portillo and three other defendants, including Wonders Bar and Grill, which, as we reported last week, is being investigated by the TABC. Our Bill Churchwell reports. Here's the breakdown. It was January 31st when Officer Alan McCollum pulled over a man who was driving a borrowed 2005 Ford F-250 pickup truck. The lawsuit states the driver was going at speeds in excess of 100 miles per hour and was driving recklessly. It also states the driver was impaired by drugs and or alcohol. The McCollums believe if it wasn't for him that the officer would not have been in the wrong place at the wrong time. Now for the owner of the truck. The family believes he knew the man should have been driving the truck but allowed him to anyway. It was during that stop when Officer McCollum got out of his cruiser to approach the man when he was struck suddenly and without warning by Brandon Portillo, in which the lawsuit states was, quote, grossly intoxicated. As we've reported, the TABC says 26-year-old Portillo was at Wonders Bar and Grill on airline in Alameda before he got behind the wheel and drove off. The lawsuit alleges Portillo was, quote, obviously intoxicated at the bar to the extent he presented a clear and danger to himself and others, and that the bar continued to provide alcohol to Portillo and allowed him to leave. The lawsuit also states that Wonders Bar and Grill had two previous TABC violations and five TABC complaints three for serving intoxicated customers. In all, the plaintiffs are seeking more than $10 million and are requesting a trial by jury. Bill Churchwell, 3 News. Meantime, police have